Dear God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this broadcast. And everyone under the sound of my voice, Lord, I thank you for each and every one. Father, I thank you that they'll get something out of today's broadcast. We'll have a good time. Everyone will come out being blessed. And we'll leave with something from today's broadcast. And I thank you, Father, for this platform that you've given me, The Arch 3 Show. And I thank you that it'll be heard across the state, across the nation, and across the world. And it'll be given to and be placed in the hands of those who will bless me. And I believe that, Father, that you are raising up somebody, somewhere, to use their power, their ability, and their influence to help me and help my brand and help the RS3 show. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Are you listening? Four, three, two, one. What? Hey, this is Quayle. This is me, Jenny Colors, Gospel Radio, and from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm Nina Taylor from the Gospel News. And you are listening to my boy, Rez, with the RH3 Show. And you are listening to the RH3 Show. And you're listening to the RH3 Show. Keep it locked. No. What's going on, everybody? This is your boy Red, host of the RS3 Show. Welcome to another great day, another great broadcast here on the RS3 Show. Y'all, I'm still at home, convalescing, resting. So I'm doing this broadcast, y'all, from the comfort of my home and in my bed. (laughs) Yeah, so hey, I'm doing this thing and I, you know... It is what it is, people, and I thank y'all for being with me. But we got a great show planned for you on today. And um, what do we have? What do you say? What we got going on, Red? We got this month of October begins a lot of things. It begins a lot of things. It begins um, our Lifestyle Maintenance Tour. Not. (laughs) Oh, wow. Mm, Idea. Idea. Hey. A lifestyle maintenance tool for the RH three show. Hey, we you never know what's going on. But um it it uh it brings us our lifetime maintenance. Um our lifetime our lifestyle maintenance series. Um yes, this is our lifestyle maintenance series for the month of October and um and so today we're going to be celebrating. We're going to be celebrating, not celebrating, but we're going to begin. Y'all, my mind is is elsewhere. Sorry, sorry. But um, it it begins our life lifestyle maintenance series, and today we're going to be talking about the main thing that needs to be started off with, no matter what uh, we discuss on. And you be like, Ren, what's what's um. What's what's the lifestyle maintenance series? I started that last um season of the R S three show and it is basically um series of messages, series of topical discussions to help you get your life back in order to help you nav whether if your even if your life is in order, to help you, you know, navigate excuse me, navigate that hurt y'all. And they help you navigate each day, day by day by day by day by day by day by day, and help you get through whether anything that that you need help with. The lifestyle maintenance is here to help maintain your lifestyle, help maintain your life, help get your life together. And um, your lifestyle would be your daily walk, work, love life, family, finances, whatever. Anything in those areas, I may pull from here and there and talk about it. And so today begins our lifestyle maintenance series. And first thing we're going to talk about 
is forgiveness because no matter what we do y'all we have to walk in forgiveness we got to be forgiven we have to love we have to you know do a lot of things a lot of things and um um <laughs> it's it's a lot it's a lot and so with everything that we do we got to we we can't whatever if we want to be prosperous in the things that we do we have to walk in forgiveness first that's it that's it and so um there is a lot of things that we're going to also be talking about um this month as well throughout the whole month of october as you all know october is breast cancer awareness month yes it's breast cancer awareness month and it's also domestic violence awareness month and it's also uh bullying prevention month and it's also national clergy or pastoral appreciation month it's a lot of things. It's a lot of things. It's work, national work and family month. October is, October goes in, y'all. October is one of those months that it goes in with a lot of, um, if between October, May, and April are the most national blank, blank, whatever months. And so this whole month, we're going to talk about and discuss a lot of stuff. We got, this, we got, um, guests coming in um we got a lot of stuff y'all so keep it where you got it to the rsd show today this whole month or whatever so red what else excuse me y'all red what else do you got going on for this broadcast for today i'm glad you asked we also have um the inside scoop of the red and that's why i give you my honest my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news nina taylor is here for um the gospel news and we're also going to be talking about um um fox news con- contributor um kevin jackson we're going to talk about some sports news um give you some highlights of the sports for this week and a push for my team, the Redskins, want to talk about them, and I'm going to um, also shout out another, uh, not another, but shout out a a Redskins um, group or Redskins um, uh, 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 fan group or a uh, merchandise group or whatever, and I'm going to give y'all a plug on that and, you know, talk about it on Thursday as well, and so... Yeah, so and we got a jam packed show. And we got Ask Red Letter. Y'all, we got a full show on today. So, um, uh, keep it where you got it. Coming up next is uh, the Inside Scoop of the Red. I'm going to push out the um, um, discussion for today since we got a jam packed show on today. And so, um, coming up next is the Gospel News with Nina Taylor and uh, the Inside Scoop of the Red. Keep it where you got it. All right, be back in a moment. The Inside Scoop with Red and the Gospel News with Nina is coming up next on the RH3 Show. Which means do I live and we ain't Look to the RH3 Show every Tuesday and Thursday to give you what you need to get through the beginning of the week and to push you to finish off a week strong. This week we have a new dosage of the Real Talk with Red discussion and the Ask Red Letter segment. I'm also on YouTube, y'all, so don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Savior. Know that I love you for real. The RH3 Show every Tuesday and Thursday from 6P to 7P Eastern. For more about the broadcast, please visit the RH3Show.com. Did you catch this flashback of the Arch 3 show? Number one, we're going to start with number one, and then we're going to go down the list. Number one is he's clear about the vision and direction of the relationship. Godly men don't play games with your emotion. Ladies. 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 I shall say and repeat this again. I shall say... And repeat this again. Y'all, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm actually talking to my YouTube family um, right now. But I shall say and repeat this again. A godly man is clear about the vision and the direction of the relationship. I know I 
I got it. Come on, you all. Join me live every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 to 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Or you can join me on the podcast anytime. For more about me, the broadcast, or the podcast platform, you can visit my website at thearch3show.com. No, I'm not a writer. Okay. Want the latest news regarding the TV, movies, sports, politics, and music industry? It is time for the Inside Scoop of the Red right here on the RH3 show. Alright y'all, it is the Inside Scoop of Thread segment and that's where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news and um, hey, we have, we, we, we just go in on today's discussion and so like I said we got a lot of things going on, ooh, ooh, I forgot to mention y'all. I forgot to discuss this. And um, if y'all follow me on Instagram, uh, <laughs> y'all see where I, I did a little um, video. I, y'all, after I did that video, I was knocked out. I was knocked out. I was tired. I was exhausted. I was sleepy. And I needed to rest. And y'all, y'all don't know how bad, as I'm laying here now, y'all don't know how bad um, sleep just gets away from me at night due to the pain and sometimes I try to stop talking and you know be quiet and trying to you know just get resting but from a surgery um God is good God is good everything y'all is a lot God is good God is good God is good and I'm healing properly and I'm trying to do better I'm trying to feel better and I'm trying to um I'm trying to move on. I'm trying to to get better and move on. And so, hey, I got to, you know, rest up. And that's what I'm doing now. And so, that's why I cannot give up on you all. Because this broadcast is all for you. It's all for you. But um, what you got for this? I, I mean, oh, what, what was I saying, y'all? Television. Last night, I laid in the bed. Y'all know that I don't, well, some of y'all know that I don't watch TV. And um, last night, Remy and Papoose Meet the Mackies came on on VH1. Was it VH1 or MTV? I think it was VH1. Y'all, that show, I love it. 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 It's very cute and it's a very good, fun family oriented show my opinion and so y'all know and y'all see me i share the picture as well on there as well follow me on instagram and on social media the rs3 show and um i've shared a picture that i was watching my best friends in my head y'all those two are so cool and laid back and just down to earth they're my type of people and so any celebrity that i feel this are that are my type of people i've deemed them to be friends in my head and so that's what Remy and Pap um, um, is to me last night, y'all. If I'm watching a reality show and it make me laugh, it's a good one. Remy and Pap, who's, y'all, they made me laugh, and so um, um, we talk. We 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 got it on. We we we. I watched it, and they got a good one. They got a good one. So can't wait to next Monday um, to watch them again. And so y'all. Check your local listen. Remy and my Remy and Remy and my Remy and Papoose um, meet the Mackies. They got f- four children. I didn't know. I didn't know out of those children. I knew Remy had a child, but I didn't know if it was the daughter or one of the sons. And so it's one of the boys, and he Jace, um, about to turn seventeen or 18 18 about to turn 18 and um remy said it's time for him to be out on his own and and then um you know he he took the money over having a party and so um i saw remy in discussing with her mother-in-law and um um about you know who's keeping a baby and stuff like that i really enjoyed this reality show it, i don't i don't think it was any cussing on there but it was good it was really good and remy and remy and pap they i they my peoples y'all but um 
I, I just can't wait. So I'm going to follow it. And I hope they get a new season and second season. And everything is good with Remy and Pap. So check it out. Check your local listings. Remy Ma and Papoose. Uh, Remy and Papoose. Meet the Mackies. Comes on. Um, check your local listings on Mondays. All right. Um, what else do I have out of my head instead of what's on my uh, show sequence paper? Um what else? Y'all, this is a full-fledged operation here, so don't get it twisted. Just because I'm, um, you know, I'm convalescent, I'm laying here, uh, everything is planned, everything is put together. Um, I have, you know, branding team. I have, you know, people in Maryland helping me do whatever. And I got, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a full-fledged operation. So join the RS3 Show family. If you like, it's an, it's an area here just for you. Visit the rs 3 showcom If you want to be a commentator, not a commentator, but a, a news reporter, um, to, to send me news reports and your commentate, you know, and then I'll commentate your reports or whatever. Um, Go to the r 3 showcom and there's an area to join the team. Um, if you want to be a producer of any segment, the Inside Scoop of the Red segment, this segment here, that's why I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news. Um, um, whatever. If you want, look. The Inside Scoop of the Red segment that's broken down to where you want to be sports commentator, uh, entertainment news, um, political comment, I mean, political pro- sports producer, excuse me, uh, entertainment news producer, um, um, uh, 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 sports produce, news producer, whatever, food blogger, whatever. This is a brand, duh. And I don't play with it. And right now, I'm going to be upfront and honest with you. It is on an intern or volunteer base. And so, whether you bring it or not, your boy Red going to have to get it in. And so, until we get, you know, the funds and the, I continue, after I'm chasing the bag and actually grab it. Hey, you know, no pay now. But I, as you know, those who will stick by me and right through the end. I'm loyal to you. I'm loyal to you, and I and I look out for those who look out for me. And so it's only a few of them them doing that, and that's those. Are my, I call those the R C show pushers, and they out there pushing this thing out, and you know sharing and whatever, and so whatever. Some even just say, "Well, I like or whatever." That's not doing nothing for me. Thank you for liking the post, but are you sharing it? Thank you for liking the post, but are you sharing it? Hmm? Oh, you like it because you liked it, but we your people like it. I'm, I'm, y'all. I didn't. I found some stuff out this week and last week, and I'm, I'm tired of giving people credit of what they don't deserve. I'm tired of people giving. I'm tired of giving people credit of what they don't deserve. And so you know what? I'm about to start calling that spade a spade and an ace a spade and ace a spade. And I'm giving credit to where it's credit to those who share. Thank you. Those who like and share. Thank you. And those who, you know, do whatever. Thank you. I have a little small business out. You know, people not even helping me out. You know, those who close by me is not even doing that. But it is what it is, people. Whatever. Whatever. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. And so I, I, I just can't. I cannot anymore. I cannot anymore. And so let's move on. And I'll be talking about me during that uh, um, Real Talk with Red discussion where we're going to be talking about forgiveness. And so I may have to forgive you. Well, I'm going to have to forgive y'all, but just keep it pushing and moving. All right. Hi, inside scoop of the red, and where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion. I don't waste about eight minutes on this segment. Um, where I give you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world and entertainment news. Again, like I said, check out the Mackies on VH1. Check your local listing. Um, next, y'all. Um, sports news. Let's get into the NFL. NFL on um this past weekend's highlights, and so um. That's all I'm going to give y'all this past weekend's highlights and the games from this past week. And so, um, and what's to come in my predictions. All right. Um, Sunday, uh, 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 no, let's begin with Thursday. Thursday, Vikings and Rams. Rams pulled it off 38 to 31. Um, 
on Sunday was a was a you know Sunday Sunday NFL. Sunday's for church and Sunday's for sports for NFL. And so uh I don't know what happened there. So please forgive me. But anyway, um it's my whole system just my whole thing just frozen. And so but anyway, Sundays is for is for church and Sundays is for sports and NFL. So on Sunday, um Texas and Colts went into overtime and so you know they pulled it off 37-34 Texans um the Packers beat the B- B- Bills 22 to 0 um another Sunday game Bears and and the Buccaneers um 48 to 10 that was a that was just a <sighs> come on come on 38-37 Patriots my sister and them team and they her household teams, they pulled out thirty seven that's seven, excuse me. Um, they pulled it off by beating the Dolphins. Thought the Dolphins would did better than that, but hey, whatever. Cowgirls and the Lions, twenty six to twenty four. Cowgirls pulled that off. Um Bengals and the Falcons. I thought the Falcons was gonna do that, but that's just one point. Um thirty seven thirty six Bengals. Um thirty one twelve Jets got that game in. Um Titans and the Eagles. Thank y'all, Eagles, for losing. I'll tell y'all about them in a minute. 30, 26 to 23, the Titans. Raiders, I can't stand them. I can't, I, y'all, I can't stand the Raiders. I can't stand them. But um, I like my boy Marshawn. Um, um, 45 to 42. Um, put out the Cleveland Browns and the Cleveland Browns as my partner, um, uh, Tone. I call him Tone, but it's nice. We call him Snipes too. Last name, but um, um, but church wise, Elder, um, his new team. He went from the Cowboys to the Browns, and so um, y'all still getting beat. So it is what it is, man. Come on, uh, Cardinals and Seahawks, twenty to seventeen. Saints Giants on Sunday. Saints pulled it off, thirty three to eighteen. And one another Chargers, uh, another game. The Chargers forty nine is twenty nine twenty seven. Ravens pulled it off again, um, twenty six to fourteen. Steelers, um, give big shout out to the Steelers. Um, I have two home team people. One of them um, is on the practice squad, and that's that's um, um, uh, Keon Adams. Keon Adams and um, um, Javon Hargrave. Javon is doing his thing or whatever, so shout out to him. Um, he's on the roster and, and he's doing big things in Philly. And, you know, Keon, shout out. Can't wait to see you, you know, in a full fledged live game. You did all right. You did good. Um, um, preseason, man. Did good. Um, 27 to 23, Chiefs and Broncos on yesterday. And so, hey. Week five, we had the Redskins had a uh, had a um, a bye week, and so um, this coming week the games are consist of Colts and Patriots. I think the Patriots are gonna pull that off. Uh, Broncos and Jets. Mm-hmm. We'll see what Denver gonna do. Green Bay Packers and the Lions. Packers, come on. Giants and the Panthers. Panthers gonna pull it off, but I would love to see what the Giants do. I right? I love to see what the Giants do. Um, Titans and the Bills, Titans. Um, Falcons and the Steelers. That's gonna be a game. That's gonna be a good game. So I'm gonna try to watch that. Um, uh, uh, Steelers. Ravens and the Browns. Ravens. Bengals and Dolphins, Dolphins, Jaguars and the Chiefs. Uh, let's let's pull that. Let, let's come. Let's see you, Jaguars. Let's see what you're gonna do with that one. Rams and Seahawks, Seahawks, Cardinals and the Forty Niners. Um, Forty <laughs> ers Cowboys and the Texans, Cowboys. And next Monday, it's gonna be a game, y'all. I hope I'm able to eat then, because if so. I see what I'm going to have to do because that's one sibling against another sibling. And we're going to see who's going to pull that off. But my boys, y'all know, HTTR Redskins, come on here. And we're going to see if we're going to pull that off for next Monday's game at 8.15. So keep it where you got it, y'all. Keep it where you got it for the sports. Um, 
rankings uh I'm, I'm just going i'm not going to go through each um each division but um for the nfc east redskins cowboys eagles and the giants and we got we at the top due to the eagles loss but um if not there would have been three and one and we're two and one and their um cowboys is two and two and the giants is one and three so hey hopefully we can keep it going for the rest of the season and see what we do or whatever and um um, I was I had some Redskin news for you all, but I'm gonna save that for on Thursday. And um I'm also shout out the the brand. Um I just know the acronyms. R N D C I think it is I think it's R N D RC, I'm just going off the top of my head. I don't even have my phone. I follow them on Instagram often, but I'm just going by the top of my head. I think it's real and dangerous Redskins. Dangerous Redskins crew. I don't know. But shout out. Let me, you know what? Be more respectful and, 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 and um, give more credit than that. Let me pull it up real quick. And so here we go. I have my, I had to find my phone under these covers. I told y'all I'm just here chilling and relaxing and enjoying myself and trying to convalesce to get better. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. It was on. Well, no, my show page. It was on my um, my um, main Instagram page. R N Dangerous Crew, and that is. Abbreviated for Redskins Nation, Dangerous Crew. Y'all, I had it backwards, or I had it, you know, all jumbled up, or whatever. But shout out to the owner. Um, follow them, R N Dangerous Crew, on Instagram, R N Dangerous Crew, and it is a clothing brand, and it is to unite all races, cultures under Redskins Nation. As a dangerous crew devoted to law, devoted to loyalty, respect, and support of the Washington Redskins, RNDC dot store. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. And I'll shout out again on Thursday. Um, I was, you know, blessed. I would say blessed, and I was blessed um, by the the owner, the 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 mastermind behind the 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 RNDC crew. Uh, RNDC or RND crew, um, 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 head honcho and blessed me with a shirt. And so I should get it tomorrow and I share it with you all on IG or whatever. And so shout out to him. And hey, y'all know I've been red skin born, red skin bred, and I'll be red skin till I'm dead. Come on here. Keep it where you got it, y'all. I think that is all of the news I have. No, I said I have some more. Speaking of uh, y'all, J.R. Smith, I'm going to just briefly talk about these because 17 minutes of my portion of the Inside Scoop of Red, I've been rambling. So I hope y'all are still with me. Uh, J.R. Smith said he could be fined. Uh, he could be he could be fined by the NBA for his Supreme Leg tattoo. You ignorant, J.R. Why? Because you're, you're most... <laughs> You play in a sports to you play in a, a a a sport to where majority of your your body is open, your arms is open, and your legs. Of course, you don't want to bring, and that's a brand. Are you are you signed by this brand? Of course, they're gonna find you because you on the court, you know, sponsoring this brand. Why would you put Supreme in? It? I can see if it's been a, in a signature, but you did its font. Come on here. Fox News contributor Kevin Jackson is fired after calling Brett Kavanaugh's accusers lying skanks <laughs> on Twitter. That's not, it's funny. Yes, it's funny, but the situation is not. Kevin, you knew better. You knew better. You knew better. And, um, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm all support for, um, Dr., um, and Dr. Christine Blasey Ford, and I, I'm I'm supporting her. Y'all heard my rampant rage over you know Bill Cosby on last week, and so you know I, 
not everybody get the same treatment and I'm you know and in and, and it's different situations this situation I totally believe Dr. Ford I totally believe her why I don't believe the other ones y'all can got to go check the podcast out last week's shows is on the podcast check them out go to the show.com scroll down a little bit and you'll see where a button says check out last check out the podcast and so Hey, you want to know my opinion on that? I'm not getting into that again unless something dramatically comes up in the news about it. Um, um, but I'll be speaking about Bill in just a minute. Kenya Moore and Mark Daly have an amazing unisex name picked out for their baby, and it means so much to us, she says. Kenya Moore and Mar- and husband Mark Daly count down to the buns of which are arrives. Everything is good and healthy. Kenya share with E! News exclusively as she prepares for her due date around Thanksgiving this home stretch i'm pretty as healthy as possible as possibly can and being positive as i can the countdown um for her baby uh arrival in atlanta can you admit that she doesn't know the sex of her baby and, and in fact she expects to find out with her husband when the baby arrives um the same time the cousin picked out the unisex name that's very um um a special meaning my cousin actually has it had said it at a family function once mark and i both looked at each other and we're both like oh my god that's an amazing name she teased us it means so much to us and while keeping the main in the sec private for now kenya knows that the fans want to know more about her journey to motherhood so i thought you know picking on this report that she would tell us but she didn't so kenya uh, <laughs> uh we'll find out later um, Dunkin' Donuts changing their name to just Dunkin'. And so I like Dunkin' Donuts. Go get their double chocolate donuts and their, um, coffee cake muffins. What? And their, um, those, um, um, croissant donuts. Man, ah. Y'all, Bill Cosby has, is moved to a maximum security prison. Disgraced comedian is in a maximum security prison facility, meaning that it has some of the most, um, some of the most, I lost my report, some of the violent offenders in the state. The state, the prison is fairly new and has 3,830 beds. Wow. And he's in, he's at the Pennsylvania State Correctional Institution in Phoenix in uh, Squawkinville. Shockingville, I don't know. It's on PA. Um, but yeah, and it does, and it and Judge Dean him as a sexually violent predator. That's it. That's it. That's it for the inside scoop of the red news, which where I brought you my honest, my unscripted opinion on today's world entertainment news. Coming up next is Nina Taylor with um, this week in gospel news, and then y'all, um, y'all. Oh, I'm on the R3 show uh, website page. Um, Make sure y'all, y'all, um, y'all, um, check out the R3 show page and, and, and just subscribe, not really subscribe to it. Yeah, subscribe to the newsletter. It's going to pop up, put your email in and subscribe to the, to the, um, website where I send you emails on what's the show going to be about during the week or whatever. And then scroll through the website. You'll see podcasts, um, heard a scene on the RC show, the ask red letter part, um, real talk of the red part book, um, book me, join the team, um, merchandise or whatever, all things about the RC three, whatever I'm hurting y'all. I've been talking for too much. Here's Nina Taylor with This Week in Gospel News, and I'll be back for the Ask Red Letter and the Real Talk of the Red Discussion. All right, keep it where you got it, baby. How you doing, everybody? I'm Nina Taylor, and here is this week's Gospel News. Contemporary gospel artist Jonathan McReynolds, a native of Chicago, Southside, learned to play drums and keyboards prior to taking up singing in high school. He was briefly a member of the group Mind Over Matter. McReynolds recorded a short set of songs and and distributed it to family and friends with no intention of an official release. But it reached the hands of John Hanna, a local pastor and DJ who aired the material on a Chicago radio station. The very unofficial EP was eventually released to the public and showcased Jonathan McReynolds' intimate fusion of modern R&B, jazz, and contemporary music. In May 2012, his single I Love You reached Billboard's Top Gospel Songs chart. His proper debut album, Life Music, 
followed that September on Light Records and hit the top half of the Billboard Top 200. So did his follow-up album, Life Music Stage 2, which topped the gospel charts after its release in 2015. It produced two top 10 gospel songs, Pressure and Gotta Have You. He landed in the top three of the album's charts for the third time in a row with Sessions in the summer of 2016. An artist told me earlier this year that we have to get back to the traditional church choir. Did we leave the church choir and are they still around and relevant today? Well, I think so. Who are some of the choirs that are still making great gospel music? Here's a list of the top gospel choirs in the industry today. The Thompson Community Singers, number 10. In 1948, the Reverend Milton Brun organized a mass gospel choir at Chicago's McKinley High School. Thompson Community Singers, the group affectionately now known as the Tommies, would emerge as the nation's oldest existing community choir, celebrating their golden anniversary with the release of 1998's hits collection, 50 Blessed Years. Their 50th anniversary was also celebrated with the opening of a post office named in Brunson's honor. Number nine, Donald Lawrence and the Tri-City Singers. The Tri-City Singers are comprised of Lawrence plus 34 members from the Tri-Cities. The choir debuted in 1993. Number 8, the Georgia Mass Choir. Founded in 1983, the 150-voice Georgia Mass Choir came to prominence through the highly visible appearance in the movie with Whitney Houston, the preacher's wife, and the 1996 Olympic Games in Atlanta. Also tied for number 8, the Mississippi Mass Choir. They were one of the most influential gospel choirs of the late 80s and 90s under the musical direction of David R. Curry, the 100-voice choir with a sound that made them a constant presence on Billboard's gospel charts. Number 7, Ricky Dillard and New G from Chicago. Number 6, the Chicago Mass Choir, founded in 1988 by James C. Chambers, who organized the famed Ecclesiastes Community Choir 17 years earlier. Number five, Ty Tribbett and G.A. Gospel singer, songwriter, choir director, and multi-instrumentalist Ty Tribbett formed the ensemble Ty Tribbett and Greater Anointing, or G.A., in the late 1990s. Number four, the 30-member New Life Community Choir was assembled in 1981 by their leader, the Reverend John P. Key. Many members of the New Life Community Choir also rescued from violent or criminal backgrounds, the choir serving as a rehabilitation process for many. Number three, the Miami Mass Choir. The Miami Mass Choir was founded in 1995 by leader, singer, and composer Pastor Mark Cooper. Number two, J.J. Harrison and Youthful Praise. Founded in 2001 out of Turner's Faith Temple in Bridgeport, Connecticut, the choir was originally known as Teens for TFT. And the number one and most successful gospel choir to date, Hezekiah Walker and El LFC, gospel singer, composer, and choir leader Hezekiah Walker, known as the hip-hop pastor, has brought a lot of young people to gospel and choir music. He's also shown that he has no problem using modern vernacular and recording techniques to expand his fan and worship base. I'm Nina Taylor. Let's get back to more great gospel music on this great station. Look to the RS3 show every Tuesday and Thursday to give you what you need to get through the beginning of the week and to push you to finish off the week strong. This week, we have a new dosage of the Real Talk with Red discussion and the Ask Red Letter segment. I'm also on YouTube, y'all, so don't forget, subscribe to the YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash I rep a savior. Know that I love you for real. The RH3 show every Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. The 7 p Eastern. For more about the broadcast, please visit the rh3show.com. Hi, it's Nina and my man Red. Stay tuned. More of the RH3 show is coming up next. 
K&B Improvement. No job too big or too small. Heaven knows we do it all. From carpet cleaning to house turnover, deep scrubbing and more. Carpet restoration, we give you what you ask for. Reliable, reasonable, prices you can't beat. Let us serve you in all your cleaning needs. For we are dependable and neat. Call 301-379-5939. Kevin Best. www.kandbimprovement.com. What I just told you, that's how uh-huh. I felt. If that's how I so felt. Trying to say- if I wanted to say that, I would have wrote it. I well, you said, imply that. I said what I said. That's you don't like it, it, you don't like it. It's the Real Talk with Red segment right here on the Arch 3 Show. Thank you, Nina Taylor. For uh, this week in gospel news, I like that uh, my boy Derek Brown uh, <laughs> say her name. I love saying it, Nina Taylor. Uh, I like that. But anyway, thank you, Nina, for this week in gospel news. Um, I'm here for the uh, the the real talk is red discussion, and today we'll kick off our lifestyle maintenance series part one. And today we're going to be discussing your life depends on it. What is it? Forgiveness, forgiveness, and so I'm gonna just give y'all a few brief um, tips and pointers, and you know whatever. And so um, y'all know whatever I say, whatever I do, my basis, whatever is all from a Christian male perspective. Let's break that down, Christian. That's my lifestyle. Male, that's who I am. Perspective, that's my opinion, um, my thoughts or whatever on it. And so being that I am a Christian and I um the basis in the 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 roadmap to our lives is the Bible, that's what I'm gonna try to give y'all on today. And so um I'm gonna give y'all a scripture. I'm gonna give y'all a scripture. Um Matthew six, one through four and um um, verses 14 and 15 and I'm going to read that and it says take heed that you do not do your charitable deeds before men to be seen by them otherwise you do not have no reward from your father in heaven therefore when you do a charitable deed do not sound a trumpet before you as a as the hypocrites do in the synagogues in the streets that they may have glory from men assuredly I say to you they have their reward three but do a charitable deed but do not do do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing for that your charitable deeds may be in secret and your father will who sees them will be openly reward you in heaven 14 and 15 for if if you forgive men the trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you um 15 last and but it says but if you do not forgive men their trespasses neither will your father forgive you forgive your trespasses Y'all, we need to walk in forgiveness and accept others' forgiveness as if our life depended on it. Um, some of us, you may not know, may look at me and say, "Who or, or or listen to this broadcast and say, who who is he? Who are they to say if my life depends on it? Whether you know it or not, y'all, it does. But if you, uh, but if but you forgiving them and as, or asking for forgiveness uh, is about you." And it's, and it's not about them. It's about you. Asking for forgiveness, you forgiving them. It's all about you. It's all about you. Why? Because if if you don't forgive them, you're going to be harboring um, 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 ill will, hate, whatever. I need to have peace in my life. I need to forgive them. I need to have joy back in my life. I need to get this out of the back of my mind. I need to forgive you. I need for God to forgive me for all that I've done. So I need to forgive you. Y'all, and and, and we have to do that. But how do I apply that to my life? How do I do that? The difference is in knowing. uh, And the difference in knowing and knowing hurt you've caused the difference in knowing and knowing hurt that you've caused in asking for forgiveness there comes a time to where we may need um we, we may need we may not know we've caused them hurt there comes a time to where we may not know or i may let's say this for example there come a time there could be a time to where i don't know if i hurt you or not things that i've done i don't know if it hurt you 
and I could say something to someone and walk away from the situation. But um, if it is, you know, a friend, you, whatever, someone close to me, and I see that the demeanor has changed the next time I approach them, then what would be the that would um then that would be the time to get to the root of the situational problem or statement and say hey um you know la- la- you're not like who you used to be what's wrong or whatever what i you know said i may have thought it was the right thing to say at that time but now i see that you know it hurts you and now i see that your de- your demeanor has changed if that is the case please forgive me if i hurt you or please forgive me if i've said whatever you know i said to you we're going to have to walk in forgiveness y'all we're going to have to walk in forgiveness and some people may may say that they're even in forgiveness you can't say if but that's not primarily true why is because I can say stuff to you and still think that it's right. I can say stuff to you and then leave the situation and then you think about it. And it still hurt you and you not telling me that it didn't. And so next time I'm approaching you, I'm talking to you. You sucking your teeth, got attitudes, rolling your eyes, this, that, and the third. What's wrong with him? Hey, what's wrong with you? Is it because of what I said the last time? Yes. Oh, well, I did not know that. I'm genuinely sorry because I don't want my friend to be upset with me. So if I really hurt you that bad to where it changed your demeanor towards me, please forgive me because that wasn't my intention. I thought we could have a grown folk discussion. I thought we could have a grown folk conversation without you getting upset, without me getting upset. And obviously you did. And that was not my intention. So... Being that I seen that I know that I hurt you, I'm sorry. Forgive them, even if they aren't sorry. That means if somebody does something to you, you got to forgive them, even if they're not sorry. Three, know that forgiveness is not forgetting. It is letting go the hurt. Oh, how do you know that? We have to understand that when God, when we ask God to forgive us, he has the ability to wipe our slate clean and he remembers it no more. But we're not God. We are not God. With us, we can only do half of that. We can only do half of that. We can let go of the hurt. We can ask God to remove the feeling that caused it. But the act that they've done is always going to be there. It's always going to be there. For illustration purposes, I can remember day in and day out, and you know that that others have the hurt that others caused caused me when I was younger. But still, I remember that. But the hurt and the feeling of that situation is gone. It's gone. I remember the actions which caused the feeling of hurt. But that feeling is gone. Why? Because I asked for forgiveness. I said, I don't want to feel this anymore. I remember it, but I don't feel it anymore. I mean, it's gone. Not forgetting is when we have, not forgetting is when we have to use it as either a testimony or a teaching tool. We cannot use the statement, well, I'm, I, I can forgive, but I won't forget. That's not the way to use that. That's not the way to use that. Not forgetting it. We have to use it as either a testimony or teaching tool. Not allowing and 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 then also not allowing them to do it again and not and and not to do others as others have done to you. Who y'all? I'm not saying who because of this message. I'm saying who because of this pain. So um, I'm going to have to hurry up real quick with this. Um, number four, know that forgiveness is a gift that you got to give yourself. It is a peace that passes all understanding, y'all. The peace passes all understanding. Understanding, you know, the, what they've done or whatever, it has to be gone. It has to be. I need to forgive you so I can be at peace. I need to forgive you so I won't cause the anger that is in me to sin. And then the sin will mess me up in my relationship with God. Okay? Um, and, and, you know, 
Uh, last scripture I'll give it to y'all Ephesians 4 26 32 be angry and do not sin night do not let the sun go down on your wrath do not let the ghost sun go down while you're angry um, nor be at peace of the devil 28 let him who stole let him who stole steal no longer but rather let him uh, labor working with his hands what is good that he may have something to give whom he need 29 let no corrupt word process out of your mouth but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart the grace that um hearers to the hearers and so that means um first part let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth don't let nothing evil unspoken whatever um come out of your mouth and let it be don't let it be unspoken don't let it be spoken um and do not uh grieve the holy spirit of god by whom was sealed for the day of redemption 31 let all bitterness wrath anger clamor evil speaking of being you know being put away from you with all malice 32 and last and be kind to one another tenderhearted forgiving one another even as god in christ forgave you let nobody pull you down enough to the spirit of hatred and um if i was to leave you with anything before laying your head down tonight if anybody have hurt you done you wrong whatever even if you have to apologize you have to forgive them and you have to um forgive them you know even if they ain't for, haven't forgiven you I mean, some we have to do that, y'all. We have to, and so yeah, I'm I'm done talking for right now, y'all. Here's a commercial break, um, a little break or whatever. Coming up next is the Ask Red Letter, and I'm gonna close out today's broadcast. I right? keep it, keep it, keep it. Hey, keep it. What you got? <laughs> You're listening to The RS3 Show. You can visit my website at thers3show.com. Does your ministry, business, or organization need a new brand? Or maybe you're looking for a graphic artist to give your letterheads, publications, or your upcoming event flyer a little more pop and eye appeal? Then Integrity Media and Design is your one-stop shop. They offer many services that will suit your needs. Services such as media production and editing, graphic design, business identity, and much more. That's Integrity Media and Design. More information is available at integritymedia.weebly.com or on Facebook, Integrity Media and Design, or you can also find them on Twitter at OfficialIMD7. Integrity Media and Design. Media and Design with Integrity in Mind. Got a few ask red letters here, so let's go ahead with it. Okay, y'all, I work, um, and uh, y'all speaking, if you have a letter that you would like for me to read or an advice, or what, what is ask red letter segment for all those who are just not joining me or all those who are just joining us this season? It's a letter that you submit to me, um, and then I give you, you, you ask for my advice, and I, you ask for my advice, opinion, whatever, suggestion, and I give it to you. And so you can email me at askrh, the number three, at gmail.com. Um, you can inbox me on any social media platform. I keep it anonymous unless you say, okay, Red, you can mention my name or whatever. Or you can, you know, submit it via the website, therhshow.com. Everything comes there, comes to me, whatever. And so, or I also, also, during times, I get it from a um, any groups online, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, what, not Twitter, Instagram, but um, any groups that I'm a part of on Facebook or on any other website or whatever. And so I pull that and then, you know, whatever. So it reads. Here's the first letter. Okay, I work eight to nine hours, Monday through Friday, as a bus driver. I'm a homebody, starting to come out of my shell, wanting to go out, um... Well, because I'm 25 and I don't like feeling like a grandma. The issue is every time me and someone make plans, I'm always the driver because they don't have a car. At first, I decide to cut everyone off and find new people to hang out with because I don't feel like picking and dropping everyone off. But I also think I also think that that's not good reason to stop being someone's friend. What should I do? Um, suggest rotation. 
You know, you want to stop feeling like a grandma. You want to go back out. You want to, um, you know, do what everybody knows that you're a bus driver thinking that they think that you like to drive. And so that's one reason. And so, hey, say, look, y'all, some weekends I don't mind driving. But look, let me chill and poly and do whatever and enjoy the fun. And, and y'all drive sometimes. Sometimes I'll drive. Sometimes y'all will drive. Whatever. That's all you have to do. Let them know. Second question. Although this is a scenario, although this scenario is for, um, you know, for, you know, for you, this one I got from a website, anyone to answer, but my friend would like a man's opinion. Here it is. My friend has been dating a man for four years. She, of course, used to, um, a dating man for four years, used to spending and giving her anything, paying her bills, taking care of her kids, um, and this year the person changed. She can't get him to eat out. Um, to eat out. She can't get him to eat. When she. Uh, she can't get him to eat out. When she or always got to. to I, I should have read that one before. Whatever. I'm going to skip that one. Whatever. Next one. I found. Here's the next question. I can't read that. I can't make that. I, I don't know. Um, I guess. I'm going to go back and, you know, decipher it. Um, I guess he's saying, you know, she's been seeing a man for four years. You suspended and giving her anything. He's tired. He's tired. He's tired. That's all. He's tired. Four years, he, 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 a man has to be poured back into as well. Just know that. Just know that. Next question. I found out my daughter has a half brother. I'm hurt because I wanted my family back. I tried to get back with him, but things didn't go the way I wanted to be. I don't want my child around the other child. And I don't know how do I try to get my family back except his other child. Point blank period. You can't be selfish like that. You cannot be selfish like that. Love him by loving his children. That's it. I'll be back to close out today's broadcast. Are you looking for an experienced and passionate video production company that values your time and resources? Then look no further. 1301 Productions specializes in creative promotional concepts that promote your product, brand, or service. Our main goal is that we can help you reach your existing clients as well as potential clients successfully. Call today to set up your free estimate. 1301 Productions, creative concepts for creative clients. For more information about 1301 Productions, give them a call at 424-835-1301. All right, y'all, that's it for the IRC Show. Thank y'all so much for joining me. Um, for more about me or the broadcast, you can visit my website at com. On Thursday, we have another dosage of the Real Talk of the Red Discussion. We have another uh, Lifestyle Maintenance Series Part 2. And um, y'all will find that out on social media or um, whatever. So I may be back on Thursday, may not. If I don't, we got week, y'all. I'm just probably and I'm resting and, and trying to get myself together. And so, for more about me or the broadcast, visit my website at thers3show.com. Um, continue to uh, follow me on social media, thers3show.com. The RS3 Show, that's on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and also the website, thers3show.com. You can go check out my inspirational playlist, my playlist, my inspirational um things that have been inspiring me throughout the month and I'm going to do my October uh, this month um, in a few um, whatever and um, yeah that's it I love you all for real and I thank y'all for joining me and for, to all of my new listeners I love you all and hey let's ride this ride together again for more about me at the broadcast this is my website at drcshow.com I'm out of here I see you all on Thursday hopefully if not you'll get the best of peace Cause I know I'm gonna